It's our weekend in Moe's. It's freaking cold right now. It's like, I think the thermostat read 30 degrees when we got out of the car. So I'm gonna climb more stuff and scope out more projects. There's that climb again that Teddy said he wanted to do last time. Wonder if we'll actually do it this time. This cave starts on this hold, goes out to what looks like a pretty, uh, it's pretty spinny move. But uh, yeah, I was kind of interested in it, so I figured I'd check out the move, see if they're doable. Start seems a little bit tricky, either toe hooks or a knee bar, which I I really don't want to do knee bar, so I'm hoping I can get around it. But some tricky moves through here, and I'm I don't even think you can see it where the camera is, but big bump at the end. That if I can do these moves. Uh, it's really going to come down to that move because I think it's a crux no matter what your height is. But especially if you're five seven zero eight index, I think it's going to be kind of hard. But uh, yeah, my goal is to just kind of work up to that move. And if I feel confident getting there, maybe shift the pads up, shift the camera, and just try the crux a few times and see if this is worth putting some, some effort into in the future. this right hand this right hand's pretty good but it's just like get in it <laughs> if i feel like i'm if i'm there uh, i'm i tried the toe hooks which means i kind of have to like campus out of it maybe get a toe here and go to this which is okay it's just not really facing the right way it's kind of gastani um the first one is go which is good I'm glad I don't have to do some uh, knee bar because that would not be not be fun. So hit this feet cut. Okay. I actually feel pretty confident on those moves, having not not really warm yet. So I'm just gonna try try the end, which. There's like, I haven't ticked anything up, but I there's like one, two, three, uh, if you count that four ticks, and I think you kind of like hit this, the, the most shallow one, move your feet and do a big bump, which is I think where I'm gonna run into some trouble, but uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes real quick. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. What happened? Oh, I hit on a rock. Alright, so I just 
watch Jesse Bonin's video, I'm pretty sure I'm taller than he is, so I don't have any excuses really. Um, he seems to be hitting this on like an intermediate and getting a high foot and skipping this and going straight to that. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try to see what sorcery I can maybe come up with. All right, so uh, just put in like maybe an hour or so into a uh, meat bag. And surprisingly, I'm, I'm actually pretty psyched on it. I was worried that the, the last move was gonna be like absolutely massive for me. And props to Jesse Bonin for showing me that you don't need to pause on that sloper. You can kind of just huck to it. Um, and I had one good attempt where I like stuck the move and my feet kicked the rock, but I think that was really enough for me to to feel like I can give it an honest effort from the beginning. So yeah, pleasantly surprised. Kind of wanted that to be like, you know, potentially first V13 for one of my goals. Um, I know it gets a slash grade. Some people call it 12. Um, I don't know if I could do all the moves of a V13 in one session, but it's, you know, it's way different doing it from the bottom. You know, we'll see. Either way, great aside, it's a really cool boulder. I don't know if we'll come back tomorrow. If I'm feeling psyched, I might just come up here solo with like two pads and give it a go. But yeah, uh, overall pleased with uh, first day progress and um, hopefully it'll go down soon. Got all the moves on Crusaders for Justice pretty, pretty quickly. But I might just be too wrecked to to actually do it. Um, I'm gonna take a big rest. We're losing light. I don't know if I want to top this thing out in the dark, to be honest. So I'll rest for like 15 minutes, and if I feel good, I'll jump back on it. If not, uh, I'll just get on lower stuff that doesn't have this sort of top out. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily super hard. Um, but I don't want to be just with a headlamp trying to figure out the the top of top of this boulder. It's definitely someone walking barefoot here. That's weird. I'm barefoot. Fuck. Crusaders is in the shade. I don't know for how much longer, but we'll see. I have my own pad set up crew.
really quickly to talk about uh, Crusaders, Crusader for Justice. I think the book gives it 12. I think other people give it like 12, 13 or 13. I can totally see that with what is original beta is going out right first. Um, but now there's, there's new beta where you go up to that left crimp first, which makes it substantially easier. So don't think it's fair to call it 12, definitely not 13. I don't know, it feels a step up from show of hands maybe. It's like a little bit different than show of hands. Like it's only one crimp and it's just at the beginning and it's barely a crimp. It's more like squeezing. So I don't know. I think 10 or 11 is fair for it, fair to give it. I will, we'll do some research on 8A and see what other people say. But it's like nonetheless, it's a really, it's seriously a really good climb regardless. So like, so that's what I'm more psyched on. Nothing beats finding a nice, Nice big block of white gold on the trail. Oh man. That's gonna last me a wow, couple cents right dude. there. That's a find. That's a Congrats, find. Congrats, yeah. dude. Uh, cool. Are you psyched, Anita? <laughs> yeah. yeah, why not? It's pretty sick. Sick. You like it? I mean, Should we check out your video? I hear you keep saying, please don't look at my video for it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I meant to say, please keep on looking at my video. Nice, Anita. Come on. So strong. Come on. The rage burn. The rage burn did it. Uh, you got 12 more minutes on your... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I forgot to do an outro for this episode, but I did end up going to be bag just for about 30 or 45 minutes to do what I normally do when I project, which is warm up and try the climb five times, give it five attempts. And if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. Um, I was solo, not a lot of psych. Um, definitely still feel good about the project overall, but not something that was worth putting in this episode. So instead, I'll show you uh, Teddy's battle on, on this V8. I think it's called uh, Hesher was here or Hersher was here, something like that. Um, what he describes as his anti-style, but he, he put in the work in the beating sun and then wisened up and decided to try it at night and it went down pretty quickly. So pretty psyched on Meatbag still, hoping to spend more time at Moe's and hopefully I can put it down and, and in a few episodes I'm editing a video where I talk about the send and, and what I think about it and whether or not uh, I take 12 or 13 for it but very excited to to get back on it. I think a lot of weekends will be spent in, in Moe's so more Moe's videos to come. Either way I'm excited and yeah more videos soon.
want more barefoot tracks. Who is doing this? Who is walking out here barefoot? 